Okay guys, so let's get to it. This is the lovely Fender Eliminator kit I bought from, as you can see, New Rage Cycles, NRC, Ride the Rage. Um, I want to give a, a quick, a mini shout out to them. I found their kit on a site for a, a little bit cheaper than they were offering it on their own site. I emailed them and one of the owners, or founders, owners of the company, emailed me back within probably two hours and said, hey, we'll match the price. And they matched the price for me so I didn't have to order internationally and wait like two, three weeks for shipping. This came in under a week in shipping and I got the price I was happy with. So without further ado, let's open up this kit. This is exactly how it came packaged, guys. So if you live in a bad area where people steal your packages, and if people know what NRC New Rage Cycles is, then it might get stolen. They don't come in any kind of hidden brown box. It just comes like this. I did tape, uh, cut open the tape ends to save some time in the video, but it, it does come taped. But that being said, this is exactly how it's packaged. You get a nice little foam core here, which I'll probably actually put on my wall to do some more soundproofing. I like the gradient colors here. Thanks, New Rage. There's a bottom piece too, and there's the kit. First thing we've got here, it's a load balancer. I did have to get this on top with the kit as an extra item. Uh, it slowers the rate of the blinking with the LED turn signal specifically. The Ducati Monster 696 I have has uh, incandescent lights for the turn signals. The rear is an LED, but the, the turn signals are, are not LED, so you need a load balancer to low and slow the speed of blinking. Um, this is one, as you can see, black wire is for ground, white wire is for either turn signal, and red wire is for either turn signal. So that's what this is for. I'm not exactly sure why they did exposed ends when they give you clamps for all three wires, but say la vie should be easy enough to wire up. I believe all I have to do with this one is cap off the ends and splice each of the wires into uh, the circuits which are should be here, I believe. Oops. So these are the rear lights and left and right turn signal lights. And I, this is what I have to splice into for these. One red, one white. Black is always ground. Um, this is all the bolts, spacers for this kit, and uh, kind of a Y wire joint, which I believe you hook up to the rear red signal, because you're gonna have three inputs and they only give you two. So it's kind of a little hackery, but that's what you do. Next is this wire kit is the license plate light here. They give you a nice tailored LED with the holder and you can place this on the tray here in three different ways. We'll go through that in the install because I'm not sure what I want to do yet for that. I, I don't like how they advertise their site there, but that being said, I get it. You have to advertise your product. Um, finally, this is the tray that you replace. You put your lock in there. And yeah, that's that's more or less the entire kit. Things I optionally need to buy and things I definitely need to buy. So first thing I need to buy is some bullet connectors for electrical with heat shrink. I'm gonna need to connect it to these wires. The gauge on these wires aren't too bad, so it should be fine. Um, why am I doing that? I'm doing that specifically because I need easy way to disconnect this and reconnect this in case the kit doesn't work and I don't want to ruin my stock wiring harness. That's one thing. Bullet connectors. The second thing I'm going to want but not need is some OEM type connectors for my bullet connectors to my harness. So once again I don't have to cut into any harness. Um, these are all more or less optional things to get but I like my stuff to be very well cleaned and tailored and, and safe and I don't want to be riding at the shock or my bike to short a fleet fuse so I'm going to do all that. So uh, you're going to see me in a couple days after this unboxing when I actually go ahead and do this install and get the other items I'm waiting for. 
Okay guys, now this is the New Rage kit. You saw me do the unboxing. Um, now I'm going to go into some things, just looking at the kit and eyeing everything that I don't like about the kit. Um, one is, if you guys can see here, they pre-drilled little holes. I don't know if you can see there. Little holes below each uh, license plate bracket. There wasn't one here, but the one here and there's one up here. Uh, license plate bracket mounting point, which fits the two wires fine. But then they heat shrunk this... I guess weatherproofing and I can, can't get it past that in that hole so my question is do they expect you to drill that hole bigger or do they expect you to just route this around like this I'm probably not going to be able to do that until I get this on the bike to figure out what I'm going to do I think I'm going to just do it around like this I would love to fit everything through that hole but I'd have to take off this wire sleeve and probably redo it probably have to take it off down there too, which I'm not happy about. Or I could just apply a whole new sleeve, but I don't want to ruin the wire that they gave. It's just a bummer. It's like, why include a hole if it doesn't fit your sleeving? Like, this is the only way it could fit. You see, it won't get past that uh, sealed wire uh, tubing here. Look, and I don't want to drill the hole because if I drill the hole, I'm going to ruin the black finish on it. I know it's going to be minor, but it might be prone to, well it's aluminum, I was going to say prone to rust, but it's going to be prone to something. Um, I guess this might be the way I'm going. I'm not sure yet. What do you guys think? Final two things that are weird to me, they don't give you any instructions, they just say go for instruction help, go to newragecycles.com forward slash instructions. I went there, there's a three page instruction uh, uh, manual with kind of, or manual, it's a guide with uh, small images kind of giving you a generic idea of like unscrew this but then it skips like two steps and you don't know what to do so one thing I found out through googling and asking people who have this kit they give you this little baggie you have to wire this one wire this Y wire connector to the red uh, rear light connector here and make it a split my question is from the factory since this is, a, this is a specific Ducati kit, why not just solder that wire for me instead of giving me something separate to, you know, have to solder or connect? I'm going to be connecting it and heat shrink. That doesn't make sense to me. Another thing is here is the load balancer. And look, I have to cut in two wires to install this. Why not install this for me? I mean, I don't know. Who's, who's okay with those you know, hyper flash uh, lights on the motorcycles if you don't have a load balancer or if you don't have a computer that kind of balances the load in itself. I'm not, I don't know if you are, but hey. So those are my pet peeves. I mean, other things you can see, some of the frosting here is already coming off and I haven't even touched or used this. Um, it's a little uneven, but that's machining. That's not a problem. Um, yeah. So we'll see what happens, guys. I'm just, I, I, I think they offer a very sleek and unique product. I just feel like the company could go the extra mile. Since they already did this wire here with that yellow heat sleeve, why not just do it connected to this since you know you need it in the rear view light or the rear brake light? It doesn't make sense to me. Someone from them, company will contact and let me know. I'm just confused. Next scene, back in the garage and installing this once I have all the parts. Okay guys, so what I'm going to start to do is do a little pre-work on this Fender Eliminator kit. Because it didn't, it didn't come fully pre-wired for anything, what I'm, going to, what I'm going to do here is, so you see this is the instructions on their site, page 3 of 3. Note the plate wires connect such red to yellow, black to black wire. We're not doing the plate wire right now. We're pre-working the tail light uh, brake light here. And that is, if I bring this set over here, right here. This is a Y splitter wire they brought. Um, orange is supposed to go to, this is a Y splitter here. Orange goes to running light. Orange is that one. Red at the bottom here goes to gray wire with red tracer. I think it's just supposed to be like an interrupter for the brake light. Um, this wire is essentially this connected to the 
rear tail light LED, but as you see, it's not connected. This is the wire over here with my hand I need to connect it to, red to red. Let's figure out how I want to connect this wire to this, and I ended up choosing a butt connector. I mean, but I could also done like a bullet connector, but I thought this wire is never going to essentially come off, so a butt connector makes sense. You got a 22 to 18. Um, I probably should have got a smaller butt connector, probably a, if I were to have to get 24 AWG. Um, I think that's the gauge of this wire, let me check. 24 AWG wire. You guys won't be able to see that because of the focus, but that's what this is, a 24. So is that one. I'm using a bigger butt connector. It's a bad idea, but I looked online, sorry for the pun, but, but, um, I looked online and I can't find in any hardware store at Home Depot, Amazon, anything, a connector that fits with a 24 AWG wire. I just, I guess they don't make them that small. So that fits pretty perfectly. Look at that, guys. That's exactly what I want there. Bent it about a quarter of the way back. And what I'm going to do now, take my crimper, 22 to 18, even though that is a little big, I'm just going to squeeze. So you guys can see my wires dried pretty well. I'm pulling. Nothing's getting caught or anything. Next, next thing I'm going to do, guys, is take the uh, heat shrink and see if it fits like I thought it was going to. I'm gonna throw that over it, see if it works. So guys, I'm pretty happy with that. Our lighters get hot, so do I recommend using them? No, but if you don't have a heat gun, it will work. Okay guys, so here's the New Rage uh, Fender Eliminator. Since you last saw my last clip, I worked on this overnight and I did the super seal connectors. I soldered and crimped them both. I did these for the tail lights and this guy over here. These are pin connectors, super seal as well, but I didn't seal them. I just uh, heat shrink them all. And I bought a soldering iron to heat shrink stuff. Other than that, I haven't done much. I'm waiting for connectors for the turn signals so I can use the OEM harness. And then we're going to go down to the bike and actually put this thing together and see if it works. One a couple things to note, I have soldered once before but I'm, I'm crap at it. That's why I didn't record me soldering and doing all these connectors because I feel like it would be a waste of time. I don't want to show you guys things that I'm crap at. Um, and there's plenty of videos on YouTube where guys who are experienced give you like details about how to solder. Um, that being said, I did solder everything and I crimped stuff, but I don't think, if you have questions about like how to connect this stuff, let me know. I'm, I'm happy to explain, but I'm not going to show you guys how I do my crap soldering technique. Okay, now let's go and finish these connectors. Okay guys, this is about a week later and essentially what I've done here is wired everything up and Light loosely tightened the uh, tail tidy. This is, was the aluminum piece I showed you guys before um, with the LEDs. This is the right LED, left LED, tail light, and stop light, brake light. Um, essentially, to get this on, it's just four bolts they provide, and they attach into the bottom of this one retainer bolt here with the rubber piecing, second one here, third one here, fourth one here. They also give you white spacers, which I don't know if you guys can see. There's a little white spacer there. They give you two thick, larger ones and two smaller ones. The two smaller ones go here at the towards the end to give it like a vertical taper. And the larger, thicker ones go inwards. Um, the toughest thing about this whole thing was the wiring. Um, this right here is the load balancer I bought from New Rage Cycles NRC. Um, with the tail tidy, um, it works perfectly, but they gave me these scotch lock, uh, I guess, wire siphons here, and they gave me blue ones. They were for a gauge like 20, yet the wire gauge on this and the wire gauge for uh, the signals right here 
um, is like a 24 to 22. So the blue Scotch locks that they gave me didn't fit. They weren't piercing one of the two wires. Um, it wasn't this wire, it was the LED wires. What did I have to do? I had to go out to Napa Auto Parts and buy the smallest Scotch locks they have. A couple of things to know about Scotch locks. Um, first thing, they're the worst thing you can do to a wire. You always want to splice or you want to use connectors because you can waterproof it. Scotch uh, locks after vibration in a while can split the wire. I didn't do that with this because I was fed up at this point. Well, you guys can see this wired mess. Um, what did I do? I bought a Ducati 696 used damaged wiring harness, which is right here. Came with this connector and these two, and then the tail light connector, not the tail light, the license plate connector was cut. So I wanted that anyways. So I spliced some wires into there and I used these super seal connectors um, to wire everything up. For the turn signals, um, I used these bullet connectors with heat shrink to wire them up. Uh, directly to these harnesses I bought from Motobox USA. These wiring harnesses. Um, there's a lot of connections going on here, but everything works. I'll show you guys at the end the final product. But that being said, some things I don't recommend is Motobox USA. I'm not trying to ruin their business, but they I ordered these like three weeks ago and they came a week and a half later. And they were like two states over from California. So I, I asked them for updates and they're like, oh, we, our computer system was down. Oh, we forgot. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Like three different updates they said they messed up. So Motobox USA, which sells a competitor uh, product to Tail Tidy here, to NRC's, I do not recommend. I do recommend NRC's Tail Tidy with cavets. A couple cavets being, if you don't know how to wire, practice. I didn't show you guys all the splicing and the connector uh, crimping and everything and the heat shrink because I think there are a dozen, if not more, motorcycle wiring videos on the internet that helped me that are better than anything I could produce. So that's why I didn't show you guys the wiring. Um, if you wanted to see that, I'm happy to make another video where I show you how to crimp and heat shrink wire. If that's something you're really into, let me know and I will make a follow-up video where I do that stuff. I just didn't want to make that because I'm not an electrician, I'm not a professional mechanic, and I'm just DIYing here, and I didn't want to teach you guys bad habits. Like one bad habit I learned, which I mentioned at the beginning of the video, scotch lock connectors are the worst thing you can use for, for motorcycles, essentially. Uh, they're, they're actually, people use them for boating, and even then, they're really pretty crap. Anyways, uh, the next thing I'm gonna be doing is taping all this stuff, wires up, uh, two to three wires at a time with a, something called Tessa tape. Right there, eBay. eBay special. Hopefully this is as good as the brand name Tessa tape. This is the tail light section, everything's wired. We're gonna test it, hopefully nothing sparks. I have tested this before, but not with all this test of tape. First thing you see, uh, license plate, you can't really see that, but it's lighting. Brake light's on. Brake light right there. Right blinker. No hyper flash, if you can see. Left blinker. No hyper black, uh, flash, if you can see as well. And then I don't have a hazard on this bike. But yeah, that's everything I can test. Feeling for warmth. No warmth. I know this hyper flash thing may get warm if you leave this on for a prolonged time. Or relays do at least. So I'm gonna make sure this is away from the wires as much as it can be under here. And that's it. So, next thing I'm gonna do is strategically and slowly stuff these wires in here, being sure not to snag anything. Um, I tighten this down with a wrench, Allen wrench rather, Allen key, and uh, I gotta make sure everything's like clean and tidy under here because I don't want the seat snagging any wires. 
Um, the original OEM stuff was under here too, so it should be fine. Okay guys, so this was a really tough part. Spent about an hour doing this. That's my sweat. Uh, I strategically stuffed the wires in here. I had to take out the lock core wire here and test it once I get it back on. I'll show you guys what that looks like. Keep an eye right where my finger was pointing right here. See, it works fully. That's one of the things you have to do for the NRC. Usually the lock goes here, but when you change this whole aluminum section, it now goes directly under the seat. That's the one sort of downside of the kit that I'll say I don't like. Other than that, this is it. Everything works. I tried the key again, it works. So next part I'm gonna do is try to uh, see how if the seat fits for the first time. Hold on a second. Okay, this is the first time I've had the seat back on since I started this several weeks ago. Um, there is a hump here, so I have enough room. I wanna make sure no wire's gonna catch down there. Seat is on. Okay, hopefully you guys can see the, the LED now. It's super sleek. I'm gonna not turn on the bike, just turn on the power. We're gonna see how it looks. This is the first time me seeing it with Oh, it looks so good. Let's check the brake. Perfect. Left blinker. Perfect. Cancel left blinker, right blinker. Perfect. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the NRC, and that's the license plate light over there if you're wondering why it's glowing. That's the NRC. Uh, Fender Eliminator LED kit. Um, sorry I didn't show you wire splicing and crimping. I can make a video, like I said once again, um, after the fact, if that's what you guys want. I just didn't want to waste time recording something like this when I know there's better videos for wire crimping and splicing. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on how to install this kit on your bike, let me know if it's a Ducati Monster 696, 796, or 1100 Evo, or 1100. I can help you. Uh, feel free to comment below, subscribe. I'll be doing a lot more mods. I'm, next mods I'm gonna be doing, frame sliders. Let me shut this off. Mods I'm gonna be doing are frame sliders, and, oh, one frame slider, a main frame slider, which I never installed. Uh, I might do aftermarket exhaust if I find a second hand set of Termi or Vance and Hines. Um, we'll see. I just don't have the money for a slip-on kit at the moment. Other than that, I want new grips eventually. I want a new handlebar eventually, which I might do. But until then, guys, if you have any questions, if you like my videos, please subscribe. If you didn't like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs down. But please, you know, subscribe and watch. I'm consistently trying to get the video quality on this channel better. I hope you guys see that. I hope you guys enjoy my Ducati Monster content. And yeah, until next time, guys, it's your friendly neighborhood, Fun with AJ.